Hi, and welcome to the GH Dance School. We are here today uh, to proudly announce our new facility is the Don Famularo Rudiments Room. To speak about that, I'd like to introduce you Mr. Sergio Bellotti. my honor and my privilege to be here today to be the first person to announce to the world drumming community about this special project the uh, room dedicated to Don Famularo and this room specializes in focus on teaching the techniques for the drum set through the rudiments with some technical devices and some um, features that are pretty unique and I'm excited to be here today and uh, to introduce you to this new facility that is unique here in Italy. Here we are, June 6, 2010, the official inauguration for the uh, Dom's Room here in Turin, Italy at the GM Drum School. Show you the facilities. Let's go inside and take a look at this unique facility. I have been in uh, many places during my drumming career and uh, I've never seen anything like it. This is wonderful, this is beautiful for, um, for whoever is interested in really mastering the techniques for drum set playing. We have both a station to master the foot technique. As you can see, we have those HQ real feel pads for bass drum playing. And of course, you have both single and double pedals. Also, there is a very cool accessory that I'm gonna show you in a minute. This is called Power Feet. And what it does, it, it creates a tremendous, this makes your foot to work really harder to get a stroke. You can also decide how hard you want your practice session to be. And what it does by simulating a totally hard um, feeling in trying to strike the leader, it actually makes you work much harder on, on the muscles. So in real time playing, it makes your foot to go much faster and with better control. This is the Power Feet X um, accessory. In this corner of the uh, Dom's room, we have a pretty complete library of selected titles of what the director and the staff here at the school consider the master publications and DVDs in each musical style. So the student has also access to literature and visual to learn each style from the masters. Here, right at school, in this library that contains, again, the key titles in every style. Now, if we go on the other side of the room, you can see four different stations. We actually have three of the same kind where you have a mirror. Now, the mirror has segments where you can clearly monitor the height of the stick, which every teacher will tell you is very, very important to work on your dynamic level and on your touch. So you can monitor yourself and you can actually use a very powerful self-evaluation tool where you can actually monitor yourself again and, and make sure you're not working at different heights or different angles which fingers are doing the work or which muscles. So this is a very cool old school trick, but now in a new facility. Of course, you got the rudiments right next to you. This is really the vocabulary, the letters, the phonetics that every drummer should own. This is where drumming comes from. The combinations of all of these rudiments can take you places beyond styles. It doesn't matter what style you play, you gotta work on your rudiments. So we have a sheet in each booth with the 40 rudiments that every student must work on. Also, 
with the VicFur website working at different levels from silver to gold to platinum, it is mandatory in this school to complete the cycle of rudiments at platinum level. So gradually you work on your speed all the way to master the rudiments in a professional way. So you have self-evaluation, confrontation with the rudiments, and then the mastery to the platinum level. Now here in this last station, this is the most complete one because not only you have, of course, the pad, the HQ pad, the mirror for the evaluation, the rudiment sheet, but you also have a system that can record your practice session and you can take the DVD at home with your technique lesson. So again, it's not only instant evaluation, but post-evaluation. Post-evaluation is where you can see afterwards how you play, where the sticks even in height, how was your poster, and find out anything that is wrong or positive about your practice session and improve on the next one. So again, this is phenomenal, it's unique, it definitely sets the example for what every school should have nowadays, something that focus on learning technique. Again, technique is essential because it allows us to express ourselves in the best possible way. You have an idea, this is the room where you can learn how to express that idea. And I think this is very, very important for every drummer. So congratulations to the GM Drum School, June 6, 2010. This is the room dedicated to Don Familaro, and uh, we hope it's going to be a successful one for the community of drumming. Thank you so much from Sergio de Lop.